We will evaluate the given expressions using the 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 reference triangles shown here on the right. Notice all the inputs for the inverse trig functions, which represent trig function values are positive, which means all the outputs or angles will be in the first quadrant. Because of this, we can use the reference triangles as is. Just be aware that if the trig function values of the inputs were negative, we would need to sketch the reference angles and corresponding reference triangles on the coordinate plane because the sine of the legs will change based upon the quadrant. The first expression is cosine of inverse sine of square root three divided by two. We begin by simplifying the inner expression. Inverse sine of square root three divided by two is equal to the angle in the closed interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two that has a sine function value of square root three divided by two. Having a sine function value of square root three divided by two should remind us of the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle shown here. So using this triangle, we need to find the angle that has a sine function value of square root three divided by two. And notice how the sine of 60 degrees, or in radians, pi over three, or one third pi radians, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is square root three divided by two, which means inverse sine of square root three divided by two is equal to 60 degrees, or pi over three radians, or one third pi radians. The expression simplifies to cosine of one third pi radians. And the cosine of one third pi radians, or pi over three radians, is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is one divided by two, or one half. Next we have sine of inverse cosine of one half. Inverse cosine of one half is equal to the angle on the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of one half. Having a cosine function value of one half should remind us of the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. So we're looking for an angle that has a cosine function value of one half. We'll notice how the cosine of 60 degrees, or pi over three radians, is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is one half, and therefore the expression simplifies to the sine of 60 degrees, or in radians, pi over three, or one third pi radians. And now we want the sine of this angle, which is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is square root three divided by two. Next we have tangent of inverse cosine of square root two divided by two. Inverse cosine of square root two divided by two is equal to the angle in the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of square root two divided by two. Having a cosine function value of square root two divided by two should remind us of the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, if nothing else because of the square root two, but sometimes it can be helpful to rationalize the numerator to make it easier to recognize the correct angle. So let's go ahead and rationalize the numerator of square root two divided by two by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the square root of two, which is equal to two divided by two square root two which simplifies to one divided by square root two. So looking at the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, notice the cosine of 45 degrees, or pi over four radians, is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is one divided by square root two, or if we rationalize the denominator, it will give us square root two divided by two. Either way, inverse cosine of square root two divided by two is equal to 45 degrees, or radians, pi over four, or one fourth pi radians. And the tangent of one fourth pi radians is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is one divided by one, which is equal to one. The last expression is sine of inverse tangent of square root three divided by three. Inverse tangent of square root three divided by three is equal to the angle in the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two that has a tangent function value of square root three divided by three. The square root three here should remind us of the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle but again, to make it easier to recognize the angle, we may want to rationalize the numerator. So let's do that again. Beginning with the square root of three divided by three, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of three. This is equal to three divided by three square root of three. Simplifying, we get one divided by square root of three. So we're looking for an angle that has a tangent function value of one divided by square root of three. Looking at the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, Notice the tangent of three degrees, or pi over six radians, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is one divided by square root of three, 
and therefore inverse tangent of square root three divided by three is equal to three degrees, or in radians, pi over six, or one-sixth pi radians. This simplifies to the sine of one-sixth pi radians, which is equal to the ratio of the opposite side of the hypotenuse, which is one divided by two, or one-half. I hope you found this helpful.